Kate puts Queen first more than ever as Duchess makes sacrifices for royal family. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, puts the Queen first with her decision to spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with Her Majesty rather than the Middleton family, a royal author has said. Kate has been putting the Queen and duty before self over the past few years by choosing to spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at Sandringham with Her Majesty rather than her parents, according to royal expert Katie Nichol. The author said, in the early years of being a family, they did try to alternate Christmas, one year with the Queen and the royal family and the next year with the Middletons, but Kate and William put duty before self and we can see that, more now than ever. Speaking to OK magazine, she added, so there is a sacrifice on Kate's part because Christmas is a very big thing for the Middleton family, but they put the Queen first and make sure they are there on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at Sandringham. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have spent most Christmases in Norfolk with the royal family since their nuptials in April 2011. Since receiving her title of Duchess, Kate only spent Christmas with the Middletons in Berkshire in 2012 when she was pregnant with Prince George, in 2016. The only Christmas they have not celebrated with the Queen over the past five years has been the last, due to the Covid restrictions in place. Last year the Queen announced in early December she had decided against hosting her family at Sandringham House. Rather, she said she would continue to self-isolate at Windsor Castle with her husband Prince Philip. This year, however, a source has claimed Her Majesty has informed her loved ones she is looking forward to hosting them at Sandringham House. This comes in the wake of a health scare that prompted the royal doctors to advise the Queen on October 20 to only carry out light duties for the time being. The source told the Mirror, the Queen has told everyone she is feeling far better of late and is very much looking forward to welcoming them for Christmas. Like many other families, this will be the first time Her Majesty can gather with her extended family after being kept apart for so long due to the coronavirus pandemic. The mayor also reported the Queen is determined to attend the Christmas Day service alongside her family at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Norfolk. This Christmas will be particularly poignant for the Queen, as it will be the first she spent without her late husband in more than seven decades. The Christmas period at Sandringham House is believed to be regulated by a series of traditions which have been followed since the royals first gathered there in 1988. The celebrations are said to begin on Christmas Eve at 6 p.m., when the family gathers for an afternoon tea. The royals then exchange their Christmas presents, a tradition set by Queen Victoria who preferred to follow the German custom of opening gifts on December 24 rather than on the following day. All staff working at Sandringham also receive at present, a Christmas pudding. The evening ends with the children being put to bed and the adults enjoying a black tie dinner. On the following day, the Queen is driven to St. Mary Magdalene Church for the 11 a.m. service, while her younger relatives walk the short distance between Sandringham House and the chapel. At the end of the service, the royals traditionally stop to exchange a few words with the royal fans who gather every year outside the 16th century chapel to catch a glimpse of them. Following their return to Sandringham House, the royals gather for a lavish lunch which normally ends with pudding being served at 2 p.m. At 3 p.m., much like millions of other Britons, the family gathers around the TV to watch the Queen's Christmas broadcast which she normally records a few days prior to the holidays. The day of celebrations ends with the royals reportedly coming together for a game of charades.